Hey yo, Phantom DC here, gonna be reacting to Legacies Season 2, Episode 10, so let's get to reacting. Eight years ago. What's their name? Mr. Wrinkles. Mr. Wrinkles. Well, that's a good name. I'm Rick. Alyssa. It's nice to meet you, Alyssa. The roommate? What do you wanna do about this? Think anyone will buy a gas leak? Damn, what she did by accident. I hope it's by accident. Your flowers are pretty. I want one. Sorry, but our mom gave them to us. Fine. Tell us to watch more. Damn. Again. And the artifact speaks. You will be a troll married to Jed. And live in a garbage can. Really? <laughs> I spelled the knob to do not disturb. I needed my chemistry of magic textbook. And more importantly, why are you on my bed? I thought it'd be nice if it saw some action. Oh. Sorry, Hope. Oh, the monster. And they can't even see it? Oh. We have tried 12 different spells. This is not a problem that magic can fix. Well, it's better than your solution of covering it in concrete and dropping it in the ocean. Not as well. Black magic to just boomerang back to drop it in a place where magic can't escape. The prison world. Absolutely not. No, this is perfect. There's a celestial event tonight. Don't, a meteor don't. To make the ascendant work, right? Yeah, that and Bennett blood. No, I said no. I will figure this out. Make a new ascendant and a new prison world with no homicidal uncles. It's gonna take a lot of magic. Well, we did it when we were five. With Aunt Bonnie, I yeah. mean, can't do this alone. Then I'll find someone. Hope. How hard could it be? No, oh, he's okay, getting some training. When I asked for training, I sort of meant for beginners. Maybe you just try talking to her. Bullies hate being confronted. I guess I could try that, Dr. Kirby. Great. It's gonna fail. Uh, how about some more sparring first? More on Miserium. If it shatters, all the black magic goes into Josie. Oh, here. I didn't know there still Well, existed. welcome back! I learn how to repair one. You're in town. Rick asked me to run Coven Day. You flew from Japan for Coven Day? Of course. Why wouldn't I? Let's guess. Oh. Maybe we could talk about boundaries. Start over. She's blaming you for everything. They're going to get rid of you unless you get rid of her. He's like literally a devil on her shoulder. Over. Back to when I had the room to myself. I think I have an answer. I've been misdiagnosed. I'm not a witch. I'm a fairy. Are you now? Does anyone else see you? A waste of fairy space? So he could see it? <laughs> Don't let anyone make you look weak. Oh, he's manipulating everyone, huh? Is that a solution, really? Your advice was useless, Landon. Just like you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Red flags, homie. Red flags. Get in here. What do you got? We're dealing with a Kareen. It's an Arabian monster that whispers insecurities and feeds off discord. Hmm. Its superpower is making people angry? Uh, it feeds off the strife, becoming stronger and affecting more and more people until it materializes into our plane. I saw it. You said it's invisible. Not to fairies. Yo, so he actually is a fairy. The character is desperately trying to keep it from exploding. Actually, that's the general render safe protocol for any explosive. Detonate it from a distance. Well, what if there isn't a safe distance? That's how we did things in the EOD. But it's fiction. You can just make something up, right? 
I guess that's your solution. Be honest. I wish Lizzie would date somebody like you. What happened to the good-looking exchange student? Yeah, we don't want that. Yes, Sebastian, he's not right for her. And I had to let him know that. She's Rick, what'd you do? Murder him? <laughs> That's up well, in the you air. Give me a lawyer before I answer that question, Sharon. <laughs> that a calm green that represents serenity and peace of mind. She's using you. I know you're just using me for cryptozoology homework. And they talk behind your back. Me? I know that you're the one who talks behind my back. Your negative thoughts are polluting the sphere, changing its color. You seem good in the slightest. They judge you, but they're no better than you. Lizzie, Lizzie, something's wrong. I will tell you what is wrong, okay? That hair, that shirt. Oh, okay. I see you have a point there. There you go. What is going on? We have dealt with problem students in the past, and I, I hate to say it, but if she keeps this up, we might have to consider expulsion. We said we'd never do that again, Rick. <laughs> I know, but what if we were wrong? Which I didn't expel her four years ago. Oh, at least I can open up. You're never emotionally available. Emotionally available? You took a job in Japan! And you never told me how that made you feel. Um, what? Should have been honest. Uh oh, manifested. It's weak to Mur, Sinbad Scimitar, and the fairies. Don't even think about it. Why don't you believe me? Can you fly or shoot fairy dust or Come on. make others Probably a different type no, of fairy. Because you're doing the exact same thing that Landon is at this training. You're trying to fit in. It's delusional. Damn. That was easy. Do it yourself. Don't let it break. What happened back there? What everyone said? It wasn't cool. And we really need your help to stop the Kareen. Why? I'm useless, like Hope said. That's because fairies run on belief. I did some research, and the more people that believe in you, the stronger your powers. Just like Peter Pan. No one believes in me. I do. Well, there is MG. You ever seen him throughout the entire episode? What, what's wrong? This isn't giving me any powers. Wow. No one really believes in me. Oh, this is why we don't entrust plans to Muppet babies. Shut up. You're a witch. Oh. Yeah, but he's a phoenix. I got this hope. Oh. Landon made sure of it. Well. Well, thank you, Wade. Where am I going to go? What if there was another option? I can cast a spell to remove the memories of what you did, what happened with your parents. It could give you a fresh new start. Really? I'm sorry about what I said before. You know, the monster. I deserved it. <laughs> Did you now? Turn down the jerk. Yo, I swear. Even though it's a new ascendant world, like, uh. Witches. Well done. But it's not over. We must pull together and channel our energy as one to banish the sand clock before it breaks. We all gotta stick together, right? And I love that you're always trying to be better. But, um... I don't want you to be the hero. No? The hero's never the one that's left standing. What do you say... dinner this weekend? <sighs> My answer's in your pocket. No. She's 
the hell? I think Landon might hate me. So they took Alaric and the twins. You look very happy, Alyssa. And I hear you're making friends. Oh, don't tell Kelly me she did it. Her best friend. I'm not in town for Kevin Day. Rick asked me to help him with a student. Someone who was giving him trouble. Sebastian. Josie recently did this purge spell to return everyone's memories about hope. But hope's not the only thing I remembered. Oh. Uh... I remembered other things. Like what you did to me. And what Dr. Saltzman did to those other kids. You'd need the Ascendant and Bene Blood. Or I would just need to use a linking spell. Yo, this kid. Watching the Saltzmans as they complained about their lives. Worried only about themselves. And then, when everyone else was basking in Coven Day bliss, I linked the two Ascendants. Ah, <laughs> thank you, Hope. It's not the one you made today. It's it's the one you made when you were kids. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm guessing Alyssa Chain wants to teach me a lesson. For what? The miseducation of young minds. So that's where he is. Hello, Elizabeth. So, not gonna lie, I enjoyed the hell out of this episode for starters, Alyssa. Hopefully I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Like, ever since she was introduced in the um, previous episode, I'm like, okay, is she just going to be just a recurring character here and they're just bugging Hope because she's the new roommate and whatnot. But nope, they show us how she was recruited, how she was a problem child within the damn school. Even at certain points, they keep on showing like, yo, should we expel her or not? And they kind of should have done that, you know, because, hey, their solution of, you know, just trying to, you know, just erase her memory of like what happened when she was a freaking child to her parents. It didn't last long whatsoever. And hell, now she pretty much plied her vengeance the moment she learned what the hell they did to her. And I should have caught on the moment when the whole ascended freaking ritual was going on and the tone of the music switched. The moment she was like picked up the ascended, I'm like, okay. Initially, I just, just assumed that, okay, they're just doing a spell and the music just changed there. But nope. <laughs> that was pretty much the hint that she was planning on doing something. And the moment Alaric touched the freaking lamp, he disappeared. Then freaking Josie and Lizzie disappeared. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> and then when the scene where Emma was going, I'm like, okay. So it's obvious she pretty much got her revenge in hell she has. And like, oh my gosh, now they're in a prison world. And who else is there? <laughs> Like, seriously, the moment they bring up the Ascent in this episode and creating that, you know, prison world to put that freaking sand hourglass thing in there, I was like, yo, don't do it. It never, it was not going to end well. Because, hell, ever since the finale of season one, and hell, within, throughout this season, they just sprinkle in the return of Kai left and right. So, either A, <laughs> he's going to return. <laughs> Or they're going to meet him pretty, pretty soon. Here we are, episode freaking 10. I don't know how many episodes are going to be in this season. I think it's going to be 16 or something. I'm not 100% sure. Or maybe it's 20. I know Supernatural is 20. But I'm not sure about if they actually revealed how many episodes within this season. But, oh my gosh, we're creeping for that episode until the whole freaking return of Kai. And it's not going to be hella good. But hey, wait, congratulations. You found out that you're a fairy. <laughs> Of all freaking things, I thought you just said me just the outcast, and then he just realized that, hey, maybe I'm a fairy. You know, I don't even remember my parents. Maybe they could have been tossed into Malibu, which they probably could have been. And if so, let's get the parents out, you know. But, oh my gosh, he actually freaking defeated that freaking monster that was feeding on the freaking insecurities of the freaking students. Not just the students, almost everyone there. But also, Emma, I hope she's, like, back, unless she's going to be, like, recurring, you know, Another recurring character for this actor for, you know, this freaking show. Because even how she just, like, left and went to Japan. And Dorian, seriously. If I had a girlfriend who just told me, oh, I'm just going to, like, you know, move to freaking Japan. Either, A, I'm going to try to talk her out of it. Or on the actual day, she's, like, you know, packing her bags to go to Japan. I would just show her a ticket. Hell, I'm coming with you, damn it. Like, you guys were a good couple, you know? Even granted, they had, like, a little mishap with freaking Alaric with hell. They got over it, 
But come on now. Get back together. Y'all are a freaking amazing freaking couple. Now you're going to have a lark. going to end up dating a cop whenever he decides to come back. You know, but hell, that's Sebastian's problem. <laughs> it's going to be now worse. Because hell, he lied to Lizzie. And now he's going to be pretty much just enjoying himself. Just manipulating the whole situation. Damn it. But uh, I wonder what's going to be next week's episode. This is them trying to a freaking escape. Oh, uh, this is going to be something. And seriously, like. I think MG only had, like, one scene in this episode. <laughs> and I thought he was going to be, you know, an actual freaking cast member in this damn season. But, anywho. <laughs> I just be complaining every other freaking week or so. Up, oh, finally get MG. Up, oh, MG. It's going to be inevitable. Until then, I'm Phantom D saying I am signing off.